Seem to be about that time to pack my hospital bag. I'm 35 weeks pregnant, but a lot of movement. This is my third baby, so we have, um, I had a vaginal delivery C-section. We're hoping for a VBAC with this one, but we'll see. And you'll see some of the things that I've chosen to pack. Um, and then I'll also include some additional resources and I'll tell you how to find those at the end, but let's get to it. All right, so I've got my hospital bag. This has a lot of space and I can put shoes at the bottom. So I love this one for just overnight weekender type stuff. I always bring a nursing pillow because it makes it so much easier for us to embark on our nursing journey and bamboobies for leakage purposes. Um, I typically will wear the hospital granny panties just because let's be real there's a there's a much more mess when you're there um and but those will be for go home i love these ones they stretch they don't put any pressure if you happen to have a c-section and have an incision so i love those some of my favorite like um bras that are easy on um and i'll link those as well i bring my diffuser and my favorite essential oils and then stuff for low back i tend to have a lot of back labor so that always feels nice i'll use that this is an incredible band so if i do end up having another c-section um, by the same people that do this again i'll link all of that for you but um this gives you just a nice little bit of support not too much um, but i love my belly band i use that a lot after having had a C-section, some slippers because you know they get you to get up and walk right away. I do not like being barefoot in the hospital. I'll also bring a pair of flippies or slippers for the shower so I don't have to be barefoot in the shower. Um, and like, of course, all my shower stuff, toiletries, toothbrush, I didn't bring that stuff out, but that goes without saying, chargers, things of that nature. I love this gown, it's a hospital gown, so it snaps both down the front and all the way down the back. It also releases the straps so you can nurse. Um, I love that gown. And then my favorite bamboo, super soft button down jammies with a robe. So my robe will go and then just an extra set of something sleepable, some snacks. And I've linked not just these, but some other snacks that I bring with me to the hospital. This is my cord blood banking kit. I've banked blood for all the babies so far. So I use CBR. Um, I've linked info for that as well, but then I bring my kit. They send it to you ahead of time. So I've had my kit for a while. I'll take that with me and just give it to my doctor. In addition, I will also bring in the mommy section. I make pad sickles, which feel really good. I mix an infusion of essential oils in there. They're frozen. And I'll also have a little cooler because I do do placental encapsulation. So I'll have my little cooler to bring that and then I'll call the doula and have her pick that up. I bring my laptop because I do hypnobirthing and so my tracks, especially since my husband won't be there this time, um, I found a great hypnobirthing track and I'll bring that. And then I have my Bluetooth speakers that I love. So you separate them out, whether it's music or your hypnobirthing track or whatever you want, I bring my speakers. I made these, I made about 10 of these they're just little cards for me to give to the nurses. Thankful they've been such a good hands with you from the Hughes Ohana. And I give those to all the nurses that take care of me and baby while we're in the hospital. Again, snacks and um, swaddles for baby. I also have a swaddle wrap, one of the Velcro ones. My little overnight kit, um, I'll fill that up with all my toiletries right before I go. Toothbrush, probably won't be getting dolled up too much, but at least I'll have that. And like newborn and one, at least one preemie size because with Kai Bear, she was little, although a little man is already bigger than she was at birth at 35 weeks. So um, some different outfit, which have built in little cuffs so that he doesn't scratch himself, little mittens. This is a knot gown. Some little beanies. Kai wore this one when she was in the hospital, so that's sweet. Um, I know the hospital will have diapers and wipes. I just bring a few of my own as well. And I always like having my own pillow and blanket. And sometimes I'll even bring my own towel for when I shower because I don't like scratchy towels. And hospital towels are real scratchy because they have to use so much chemicals to keep them clean. So I'll probably bring my own towel in addition to my blanket and pillow. Um, what else am I forgetting? I think that pretty well does it and all of this will fold up nicely and fit in my bag and I'll be good to go. One thing I forgot to mention is obviously I'll bring an outfit to go home in for myself 
and a sling. I usually like to put the baby in a sling right away, so I'll bring one of my slings too. But that pretty well covers it, whether I end up being able to have a VBAC or a C-section. Screenshot the last slide here in this video if you want just a quick checklist. I put one together. If you want the printable checklist that's clickable with all the links to everything, including the padsicle recipe and the recipe for my little energy balls that I bring with me to the hospital, um, and all the different things that I mentioned in this video, use the link in my bio. That'll be the best um, place to go. Or you can Google search Jacqueline Hughes hospital bag and it'll bring up my blog too that way. But if you have any questions, let me know. Save, like, share this um, with anybody that might find it useful. Let's do this.